What's going on y'all? It's Nick with Bear Family Farms. Today we're out here taking the drone, trying to find uh, one of the breeding groups that we've got separated off. For the sake of the length of this video, we will only go through a few of the breeding groups, not all of them. I'll uh, we'll only go through probably about four or so. Uh, this pasture is about, mm, I'd say about 30 acres or so. As you can see, our uh, stock tank in this pasture is going pretty dry. We've already taken a precautionary measure and got some portable water in there. There's about 50-something uh, malt goats in this pasture and a billy goat, um, Maui. Uh, we'll go down there here in a second and take a look at everybody. Um, looks like they're coming down one of their paths now. Uh, this pasture is pretty heavily wooded. There's a couple of open areas where uh, some grass is still hanging around. It's still pretty brown. Haven't gotten much precipitation, uh, as you can see. There's an open area, but there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of acorns in this pasture. Some have already started falling, uh, so we're going to rely on that a little bit for a feed source uh, as we go on the next few weeks. Um, as our most pastures, pastures all electric, we have no doubt in our mind that uh, the billy goat that we chose for this pasture, which is like I said, Maui, is going to be able to cover all these nannies. He has a very high libido one of the highest that uh, we've ever seen for sure, as well as our, our mentors that we got them from. Uh, definitely, definitely a high, high libido, high drive to breed. Um, he is coming on, he was born in 18, so he's coming on four years, he'll be five years old next year, and uh, he doesn't show any sign of slowing down at all. Uh, we are actually thinking about uh, offering him uh, for sale after we use them this year uh, we have some of his offspring um, so we're going to change up the blood a little bit so if you guys are interested in that uh, let us know Today we're out here checking out one of the breeding groups that we have sorted off. Give this bucket a quick shake, see if we can get them all to come out of the out of the woodworks here. They've been doing a pretty good job cleaning this pasture up. It's about 30 acres or so. Uh, there's I think about 50 nannies or so in here. I don't think they're all here. Them some of them might still be in the back there, but um, overall, plenty of space in here for these girls. Uh, they're looking good. Acorns are starting to fall. We had a small chance of rain. Actually, it was a big chance of rain. It ended up just going right around us as it usually does. Uh, it was about a 90% chance of rain, and it, as the radar came through, it just went right around us. So, um, Cloudy. It's kind of cool. There's a, another chance for rain later on in the day. We're hoping to get some. Uh, but... As you guys saw in our previous one of our previous videos, we've been making some feed trough to feed some alfalfa pellets out of if we're going to have to get to that point. But uh, these girls are looking pretty good for uh, the conditions that they're in. We have it with no rain and whatnot. Uh, the grass is all turning pretty brown. Any grass that is left, a lot of this old Indian grass is in here. They'll clean that up as the fall continues and we go into the winter and all these trees the leaves will start falling acorns will, acorns are already falling um and so we're hoping that's apple amount of feed source for them they're only going to be in here probably for about another 55 days or so and we'll get them all moved out and uh, all the nannies will come together in the same pasture uh, for the remainder of the winter come december 15th um and the billies will get pulled out and uh, we'll have one big herd of nannies and then our billy herd uh, back down to usual and that's going to end up being a fresh pasture uh, that they haven't been in in for four or five months so it'll be it'll be very good for them it'll be clean pasture as you can see maui there is getting to work on these girls Nannies in this pasture range anywhere between 10-12 months all the way up to 8 years old. So there's a very wide variety of uh, age groups in here. A lot of space for them in here. As you can see it's pretty thick. Uh, any 
any briar vines they've already taken care of and they're starting to go to that second layer of leaves and, and mesquites and whatever else is in here. So. Here's one of our pups that are in training, Hoss. He's a big boned son of a gun. As you can see, that's a full grown uh, Anatolian Pyrenees cross. He is coming on, let's say two years, two and a half years old, and he's not even a year old. I think he's seven or eight months, nine months or so. And he's gonna be a giant. Uh, but really looking forward to that guy growing up. He'll be on his own pretty soon, or he'll just stay with one of these older dogs, he seems to be pretty trustworthy. Haven't had any issues with this one. Um, none of them really, but... And there's old Ruger. All reliable. Trust that one with anybody and anything. Here's another look, uh, aerial view at a, another pasture we have. Uh, Dennis is in this pasture. He's a yearling billy. Uh, let's see if we can find some goats. This pasture is also electric netting there in the bottom right hand corner you can see our portable water system all it is is just an IVC tote up on uh, center blocks and uh, gravity feeds water into there um, I think there's about uh, 25, 25 nannies in this pasture I believe um, more than enough uh, for this for this young Billy to cover uh, we have uh, very high hopes for him He's he looks very promising uh, at such a young age. Um, this pasture is you know, probably about 20% wooded and the rest is open. Uh, you can see they've already started getting after the cactus and whatnot but there's still a lot of uh, forage available up in the tree line and whatnot so not too worried about that. There's old Dennis there. Nice yearling, stout, symmetrical. Uh, this pasture is pretty dry as well. Um, there's, there's a little bit of a tree line as you saw in that uh, aerial video. Uh, we're hoping all of those acorns start falling in. Gives them a little bit more of a feed source in here, but there's still some grass back up in there and some vines they haven't messed with yet. And also some mesquite trees and mesquite beans, they'll be eating that stuff too, but they look pretty good. Um, not too shabby. We'll go ahead and move on to the next pasture here. We got uh, Snape in this pasture. He's an all black billy. Uh, he is coming into himself. He's starting to really mature and uh, blossom. Uh, there's about 30 nannies or so in this pasture. Um, they range anywhere between uh, 18 month old um, nannies all the way up to 8 years old. Uh, pretty wide variety. Uh, pretty excited about this guy. We're uh, interested to see the kids that are produced out of here. We also have some kids that are in this pasture. These Some of these nannies gave birth to their first kids in the summer. Uh, so we went ahead and left those kids in there. We'll probably leave them in there whenever we pull the nannies out uh, in about 55 days or so We'll go ahead and pull those kids and wean them off, but we weren't didn't want to wean them off too early um, But there's Snape there uh, Pretty stout looking fella uh, very very uh, Strong libido as well and uh, No issues with him Here's another group here. Uh, this is Carjack's group. They're up here in this little trap. This is their water point, but pasture opens up down there. They've got access that away. There's about 30 nannies in here, so Let's see if we can get them to move around.
these are pretty stout nannies. We're very excited to see the kid crop uh, that Kerjack produces out of these particular nannies. Uh, these nannies were handpicked for this guy. All, all of our goats that we separated off have all been handpicked according to the herd sire that they were put over. Um, we keep close track of that, and I'll uh, 